Yo, welcome to my playthrough of College Football 25. Uh, gonna start off this journey playing as uh, USC, obviously um, repping my alma mater. So I haven't played a football game since like 2018 Madden and then before that 2014 NCAA um, College Football 2014. So I don't know anything about some of these new systems and how to play. I mean, I just am used to button smashing when I used to play. Um, so I don't have that much familiarity. I tried to do an exhibition game with All American and I got tore up. So I'm not going to start at freshman level. I'm going to start at varsity. Um, I played varsity and I also lost, but it was close. Um, but I think that's what I want to start off with. Um, and the other thing that's important is I'm going to be playing um, Dynasty, which is your head coach. Um, so how that works is you're going to have goals that a program sets for you based on the program. If I'm going to pick USC. So obviously USC is a blue blood. So they're going to have higher expectations, which is means it's going to be more challenging. So there's that. But at the same time, you know, I'm starting with USC. So I don't want to make it the easiest mode. I want it to be really challenging. So I think varsity is that for me where I could barely, <laughs> I lost, kept up. But you're going to have to meet the expectations of what USC has. Um, so I'm interested to see what that is. So I haven't set this up. I don't think I even have a game, right? Uh, yeah, I don't even think I have. I started a game here, so let me go back. Because I think I put continue, but I don't think I have anything saved. I haven't gone onto this mode. <clears throat> So let's start Dynasty. So we're in a single player. Let's go with the active roster. It's gonna let me get players that are currently there. And then Dynasty settings. Varsity coach firing on. It's all good. Picking USC. Dang. Big 10. Crazy. Make myself... So that you can do a tactician, which is a good playmaker, recruiter, motivator. Since I'm trying to keep my job, I'm going to go recruiter. I'm trying to get the best guys. Um, always be recruiting. Not going to be me. So I'm going to change my guy here. Um... Let's just go with uh, what my real job at USC was. Air Red, go with USC. Alabama, nope. Southern Cow, baby. Bounce, 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 it's all good. Definitely does not look like me, so let me change that up. Gotta look like for a dude with a faux hawk and a beard. Uh, maybe this, but like... Uh, no, no beard. More beard. Maybe this with darker hair.
All right, screw it. Let's go. A uh, little bit bigger than 160. Not that big. Let's go there. Apparel. I like that. Cool. Continue. All right. So this shows historically how USC has done. So they're offering me a three-year contract. Now, again, it's based off the standards of your school. So USC's goal is to win 10 games. Um, so this, and it's based off the history. So obviously this is Pete Carroll right here, 2004, 2009. He won tons of Pac-12 titles. Here's five. They won the year before, too, so it should be six Pac-12 titles in a row. National champions in 2004. Went to a national championship back-to-back. -back. This was the back-to-back -back year. This is going to be their three-peat. Um, they lost to Texas. That was also Rose Bowl. Then they went to three more Rose Bowls and destroyed everybody. Um, this is Pete Carroll's last year, 9-4. Then this is the Sart Kiffin years. This is the year that Sark is fired and then Clay Helton is hired after this bowl game. Clay Helton coached the team at the Las Vegas Bowl. There's Clay Helton, Clay Helton, and then he's on the hot seat and they miraculously win the Rose Bowl there against Penn, against Penn State. Then they beat Stanford to win the Pac-12 title. So this is where they give him an extension. Then it all goes to hell and you have the COVID year five and one. Um, and this is when Clay Helton gets fired uh, after we started terribly versus Stanford. Uh, then we get um, Lincoln Riley, and we're a Caleb Williams injury away of going to the college football playoff, um, but lose to Utah. And then this is last year where we kind of disappoint because of our crappy defense. We still win eight and five and won the Holiday Bowl. So the standard is to win 10. Um, I have three years on my contract, so like, it really is a high bar to me. Winning 10 games is hard. Like I said, I played varsity and lost. So I don't even know if I can get to 10, so I might be fired right away. Um, and then I have to work my way up, depending on what happens. So part of this gig is recruiting. So what I really want to look at is quarterbacks and some of the top prospects especially ones in California like this guy. He's an elusive back. I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna try to get 10 guys on here, especially California guys that are really good. So the first guys I wanna focus on is just like these five stars. See if any of these guys bite. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go to the recruiting board. I just want to get 10 on the board. There's 11, that's cool. Just reach out to them, offer them scholarships. See if they're down. This is the bye week, so let's advance the season. This is the bye week. Let's look at recruiting. I'm gonna try to get more interest on this guy. Mm -hmm. 
these guys have scholarship offers. Okay. Trying to scout some of these dudes. See how they're doing. Okay. So let's go with those guys for now. Next week is the LSU week, so we're gonna play LSU in Vegas, uh, which is not gonna be an easy game. I think they're ranked higher, so we might have lost some of these guys. Okay, he doesn't care. Me. Let's go after this guy. Let's send the house. Don't want us. That's not good. Doesn't want us. All right, so we spent some time on all these guys. So let's let's play. So maybe as we win, we'll get more attention from these guys. So LSU's better than us. I think they're ranked higher. So Welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada, Allegiant Stadium, home of the Open Raiders, but today home to the start of another exciting college football season as we are ready to crank it up here in Vegas in the Las Vegas kickoff class. A top 25 showdown coming up. Two of college football's premier teams preparing to duke it out right here on this field. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. All right, so I'm getting the kick. Man, I was hoping to... LSU will put a foot to it for the opening kickoff. All right. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh. From inside his spot. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. All right, I think I want to start heavy on the run. Thanks to that short return. All right, let's go Miller Moss. Okay. Looks like uh, their line is ready for that. 
first team every time they meet. Didn't get much done on that. All right, let me make sure we protect here. Max protect. I'm going to try to roll right, see if I have anybody. Let's go for a run again, for short. Let's go. Okay, good, good, good. Um... Alright, I like Zechariah Branch, but I feel like they're always... I'm gonna go for Deuce Robinson. Ooh, that was a bad throw. I didn't... I didn't intend that. I should've... I was trying to pump fake and I threw that. Mm. Give me the block, give me the block, give me the block, give me the block. Nice run. I'm going to go again with third and three. Dude, do I go for it, though? Mmm, big job. Oh no, I handed it off. Got it? Oh yeah, that was a tight window. Uh, All right, I like McCree there. I'm gonna... Men are branch. In more recent years, there's a lot of pressure to play that position now at the Coliseum. Oh the no! But this guy right here, he has been making his mark. I feel like they are really on top of branch, so. Got three yards. Oh, I'm gonna go short here. Right, I need protection though. Let's do. Let me slide half. Let me slide right. No, let me slide left. Ah, that was a bad throw. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but go for it. Toss here. Let's go. Nice run. Nice run. Okay, so far so good. We're moving. Just gotta play safe here. Gotta be smart. Nice block. There we go. Make sure. I was like, I'm actually doing well. I just want to make sure uh, <laughs> the settings are right. Should be varsity. Yep. I'm gonna keep running it. They're gonna need the room. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Alright, let's get 
Wait, why is the settings not... I thought it was tap tap for kick. Did I mess that up? Whatever. It's gonna be a crappy kick. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. He's brought down after a good return, gets mm -hmm. it out to the 30. Alright, let me look at my... Let me look at some of my settings for these guys. Alright. On... I'm gonna go by... Speed. Are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Palmer. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of the defense, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna focus. Explosive plays today. Let's do that. And then flats. I'm gonna do zero. Do these fifteen. Let's have these settings to help me out. All right. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Oh heavens! Are you got to be kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was. Way too easy. Damn, I guess our defense hasn't improved. It was like our defense from last year. This game's too real. Damn, that was ridiculous. That took me forever to score. It took them one play. That was a bad spin. Bad spin. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. Nice. Nice run. Multiple guys missed, but still, it's a negative play. I need more of that from from Branch. 69. <laughs> oh boy. After that tight first quarter, this second period ought to be a lot of fun. And the Trojans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. The throw makes it. Let's go. Great play. O'Neal's killing it. The crazy part is how easy they scored. I mean, I'm scoring easy, so our defense are trash. So I guess it's realistic from last year. Both of these teams' defenses sucked. Make sure I get protection. Situations they're gonna play man, they're gonna play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? No, throw it. And the offense man couldn't find anybody open. Like somebody's got to create some. I'm gonna go for it. Because I stuck at kicking. Should have kicked it, I guess. Love the coverage on defense there. Fourth down. They're ready for the pass. And you saw in the back end, great job being in position 
to make that what in the world okay i gotta change my i think they've adjusted to my stuff Can he make the right reads? He can make people miss. He can make even bigger plays than this, but just he's not even fast. It's crazy. LSU quick to the line. Defense is just dukes. Wants to throw on first down. It's caught. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. It's a really nice play there. The thing about this guy, he forces the defense to have to stay disciplined. He just can't take a playoff. He reminds me of an old LSU quarterback that I used to play against, Hurt Tyler. He was a guy that could hurt you throwing the ball, but he was also shifty and he could extend plays. We had a great defense at Florida, full of NFL dudes, but he just never let you feel comfortable because of his athleticism and his dynamic ability. This guy has a little bit of that, too. Give to the running back. A strong All right, good defense. Now facing a third and long. Come on. Off play action. Get him. Let's go. That was all me. All right, good defense after that. And I just feel like I should have got points on the last drive. So maybe if I go up, because I think I receive her, so I got to go up here. Two minute warning. Okay, I gotta be aware of the clock here. Oh no! Just get the first down. No way! Now I'm gonna go for it. That's crazy. Come on, come on, jump. Oh, no. Line getting set on second down. Now the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. Mmm. will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone. I'm trying to find our tight end here. The hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And they can't hook up on the big play. And that man. Down. The Trojans will send out the punt unit. No, man, come on. Why is it not letting it? Set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. That's how you force incompletions and force forward. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. He's gonna pass. Wide open. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. LSU right back to the line. Going up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle, it's Taylor. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. On second down, he'll let it fly. How am I not tackling? Defense is there to make the Man. He's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. 
Chucky's tearing me up. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. He's looking to throw. He snares it in the Oh, zone. man. Did he get that? Challenge play. The lead, you want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum. Ooh, the I don't know. Did he get that? The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout mm. is gone. Up to add another. And the extra point is All right, we got 36 seconds. Ah, I was being stupid. of even a good football team. No. How about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. He rifles one deep down the middle. Let's go. And he breaks into the open. Inside the 10. There it is. Pump fake. Got him open. That's what I needed. Man, got that back. Way up in the air, and he does. And his receiver comes down with it. What a play. And he takes this from inside the five. Still on his feet. And the returner could find the 15. Hey, line, he goes down. Let's go back to default. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. They feed him again. And he's able to get some. All right, Ty. Brought down, and that'll bring us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters of football there today in Vegas. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and <sighs> chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Allegiant Stadium. All right, it's got to be better on D. Cranked back up here. And the Trojans will kick it away first and will start the second half. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the... First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to Come on. make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on 
defense? We're going to find out here. Holds and fires complete to the right. They stop him almost immediately. So they're having more room now. Okay, let's go cover six here. Watch out for the throws. Just gotta hold them back. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. No. Yeah. And he's not gonna get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Let's go. It's branch. Nice return. Alright. Let's get a little let's get a little throw. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tight little throw there, nice. Let's be patient here. Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense too. Nice, nice. Clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? You be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense. They're getting this guy lathered up. Got the first down and more. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster. And I'm gonna make them. The Trojans will snap it on first and ten. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offense. I'm going to make them go for the run. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays. Let's go. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. Follow the path. Follow, follow the tackle. Oh. How about that nice big huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Nice, nice. Great, great, great drive. Great drive. Let's go. Oh, what? You can tell he's got a nose for the I held on too long. To get in there, knows how to make things happen. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it up. I hope that it doesn't bite me in the butt. Oh, man. The 16 would have been much better off to take the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. This defense right, babe, watch out for the throw here. So they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong that they can collapse the pocket. No, 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 no. Get him. Someone get him. Oh, man. That was almost a hole. Just contain, just contain. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that was close. Alright, we can win the game here. Let's just control it. Let's get a score here. Make it a two possession game. Don't. Dude, we almost hit the kicker. I'm gonna run. Just let's take the clock down. Just be smart. Just be smart. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back touchdowns. 
It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Bob. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. And he'll be down, but he does have enough for the first down. Gotta cover that ball. It's a nice run there. All right, I'm just going to waste time here a little bit. I got to be smart. I don't want to be dumb. I'm going to just let the clock go down. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. It's a draw. Ooh. had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. I'm going to go for it. I'm go for it. Toss left. Let's go. Defense who are given four downs for a reason. You've got to use all of them. Two for three so far today. The give on four. Let's go. Finally run out of bounds, but he has oh, that was a close one. And you're gonna hear this guy's name a lot. They're gonna ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're gonna build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're gonna Come on, milk it. Let's milk the clock. I'm milking the clock. Second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Yeah, I'm trying to milk the clock here. Third and two, same thing. Run that play on second down, knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available. High success rate. Yeah, let's do joiner. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. All right, let's go, boys. Let's get this. All right, we're going off the guard here. Snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Ooh, let's go. He ran through tackles like water through a sieve. They'll line up to go for two. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now? No. Are you kidding? Uh, two points. No, that was careless. I threw it into coverage. Uh, he thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. 
the last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive. Moves. Come on. Fires one high and deep. Oh. It's incomplete after taking a shot. My heart. Sack this dude. Well, the defense didn't get caught napping there in this situation. You know they have to stay alert for the deep ball. Yeah, so what defense am I going to call? I'm going to keep some DBs back deep. I'm going to keep my safety a little bit deeper. Understanding they're down. I'm going to have to attack down the field. I'm going to stick to my passing sets, my nickels, my dimes. Looking to go up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now second and ten. Let's go. Looking to throw it again. Quickly complete. Let's just keep it in front of us, guys. Let's not get stupid. He was gonna jump in and intercept that. What? Three-point game. Call timeout. Called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll run play action. And the pressure gets oh boy. This is not good. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. Come on, I need this. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. Yes. Perfect. Let's go. We have arrived at the two minute warning, a one possession game as this offense tries to hold on. That wasn't a touchdown. That's a touchdown. My leg crosses. Oh, but I don't have a challenge no more. You already have the lead. Scoring is always good. But milk the clock and it will be your friend. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Trojan. Let's go. And you know, late in the games, offense is so... It's the score. Trust me when I say the party is on in Raleigh. 
60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Um, let me do. This junior loves to show off that big arm. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking to pass. It's Gus Meyer. Throws to the tight end. Let's go. This is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That should be the nail in the coffin. Let's get Branch ISO right here. Watch. Let's go. What a throw. FLSU. F the FCC. Let's hope that this actually happens. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. Ooh. What? They just threw my dude down. Am I going to be petty? Yeah, let's be petty. I don't care. They want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense. The pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Offense calls a timeout. Big down coming. They want to talk it over. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against All right. this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. Well, you don't see this very often, so much for fighting until the bitter end as they'll take the unvictory formation. A first down for the offense. Good win, good win. Holy hell, that was tight to the end there. All right, starting one and now feels good. Wants to throw. It's Nussmeyer trying to get to it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The 
waited so long to start the season and just the way you want to start. Let's go. And the first games are so much fun. You've been practicing against each other over and over all through camp. Now you get to come out and start the season off 1 and 0, Jesse. Great start. It was a great start for the winning team. Now for the losing team, obviously not the way you want to get into this season. There were some mistakes with execution, and guys are going to have to do a better job individually. But that's why you play the games. You get to now go back to the drawing board, get back on the practice field, try and iron out these wrinkles. It's a long season ahead. A lot to play for. Boom. So that's going to do it. Conquest. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Man, I didn't pop off to that fourth quarter. Alright, so we'll pick it up next week. And I got some upgrades. See if there's anything important here. Alright. Any here? We'll pick it up next video.